Why hello ranchers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Volcanea, Episode 9, Ranching for Fiber. So as you can see, this hydrogen is only 80 Fahrenheit or 26 Celsius. It, uh, it might come out hot, but it doesn't stay hot for very long. Uh, so Fang Face, let's cancel analysis because it's going to burn you. Yeah, you're welcome. He was like, oh, I got hurt. Yeah, you did. Like, yeah, that's my fault. There you go. Every little last boo-boo gets treatment. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, doctoring. Unfortunately, you are the only doctor, so hang on a second. Everybody, go kiss Fang Face's boo-boo. Appreciate him for his got scalded by science. Um... All right, so we're starting to get hydrogen in the uh, in the Drucker Ranch, and uh, as soon as this liquid lock is locked, uh, we can get the Drucker too. Uh, what is this? Just carbon dioxide? That's fine. And then I'll start um, digging my way over to the other Drucker. Um, printable. Give me some armor. What's the risk of it evaporating? Uh, very, very, very low. Basically, it won't. Um, because what will end up happening is eventually this gas pump will have will fill the uh, fill my need for hydrogen, and then the geyser will become overpressured way before the liquid heats up enough to to boil off. All right, one more shipment of water, and we're we're gonna have a lock. Oh, that's it. Lock complete. So there is an egg here and a Dreco. So I'm going to wrangle the uh, Dreco and maybe incubate the egg. Incubators require a lot of power and a lot of heat. So probably an incubator that like isn't powered. Just stick it in there and like hug it from time to time with a weight plate or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. So this drop-off will be for Drecklets or Drecos. And it looks like we'll have two in an egg. I don't know of... Oh, hey, cold. I found some cold. Well, the Wizwarts will help um, if we ever have a worry about uh, overheating at the base. Fangface, you leveled up. Uh, I guess we'll give you astronomy now. Do you still have to run a wheel? Yeah, man. Everyone runs the wheel. We haven't bothered to implement other power methods just yet. Oxygen might not be included, but subs are. How's Meep treating me? Ah, uh, you know, the Meepiest. Alright, you guys want a little timer for this bad boy? So we'll hook it up with the timer. So that it, uh, periodically turns on. So we can get the little, our, our hugs in. This is about halfway to becoming pressurized. 2K will be max pressure because I'm only using a regular gas vent. Overpressurizes the 2K. 
Uh, it would be awesome if we actually, like, wrangled you. And then the incubator, we will put the Drek egg. Not continuous, just, just a one-off. I can't reach you. Get down here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and disable the gas pump. Uh, I probably have enough hydrogen, and I do. Yep, 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 it's full. <laughs> I meant to stop that before it filled up, but oh well, too late. Because, uh, you know, if I stopped it from filling up, I could reuse this gas pipe for, like, oxygen or carbon dioxide or some other gas. What? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right, you, sir, are getting wrangled. Uh, I might need to change the priorities for someone to actually ranch. Chimic. Because we haven't actually done any ranching. If I use the snip tool, not get released in the base. Yep. Well, alternatively, what I might end up doing is... Um, there's nothing necessarily stopping me from, you know, once this project is done, from me turning the hydrogen to power. So I might want a vent full of it. Because uh, I can always tap it for power. Because I've, I've got that hydrogen generator. We'll see. We'll see what kind of power you guys want. There we go. Chimic, you got yourself a... No, 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 no. Oh, you're going for breath. I think we already... Yeah, we moved one in. Good. So we can start shearing it. And then the other thing I need to do is maybe not leave this door open. And then uh, disable auto harvest on this thing. Actually, uh, I could do it like this. Uh, where's the harvest? Disable. Done. So now we're no longer going to harvest that. Yeah, you hopped out. I know. That's my fault. Uh, wheels. So... What'd you say? Uh, 540 red, 60 green? Here we go. Oh, look at you laying eggs. So, um, I will count this as finished once I actually have the Dracos ranched properly, because I kind of don't right now. They're kind of wandering around. But, uh, but that, that, uh, goal is kind of done, I think. Uh, unfortunately, the normal polling tool that I use is, well, it's broken. So, what I'm going to do is use Twitch Pulse. And yes, I am in my Lumberjack shirt. My lovely Lumberjack shirt. What to work on next. So, some uh, some goals. I could add a farm. I could explore. I could um, add power. Uh, add transportation. Or viewer suggestions. There you go. Pulls up. Uh, we are grooming and shearing the Drekos already. So it's only a matter of time until... Uh, until Oh, there we go. We're going to have... Come on, there it is. Reed fiber. For the first time. Boom. Uh, now that we have Reed Fiber, it wouldn't be a terrible idea for us to start researching our way to hazard protection so that we can have Atmos suits, uh, allowing us to travel anywhere outside of our sort of oxygenated safe zone and, you know, not like super die, super get burned, etc. It would allow us to analyze the hydrogen vent uh, or whatever else we wanted to do.
Now there are Weezworts. Oh yeah, that's another thing is um if you wanted me to grab Weezworts, that would be like the explore goal. Uh, add power, I would have you decide between the various methods of gaining power. But yeah, this is the reason why I uh, I built this farm the way I did. So scales only grow uh, when you are inside hydrogen. Their backsides are covered in a thick woolly fibers, only grow in hydrogen climates. So um, they can wander into the hydrogen, regrow grow their scales, and then wander back into the oxygen to eat the mealwood, because mealwood doesn't grow in hydrogen. Um, so this setup requires a, uh, uh, you know, requires the, um, uh, the liquid lock, but, uh, but allows them to regrow. And then maybe we'll get a glossy egg at some point. Who knows? And then as we groom them, they become ta uh, domesticated, and uh, that might help as well. Yar, yar, yar. The uh, hydrogen vent is nearly overpressurized. And as soon as it is, I can analyze it if we want to do. Uh, because it won't be able to outgas anymore. And it, it's not so hot in there. So. So, I know how to make cool, vast, sassy suits and warm sweaters so far. But, um... Oh, I didn't realize I had meat. But soon my list of craftables will increase. I hope. Just spending a second to like look around, see what other resources there are to be exploited. So heading down to um, the hydrogen vent gave me visibility of this section, which is like obsidian and igneous. So this is like uh, possibly oil biome. If we wanted to uh, create like a, I mean, going through abyss light kind of sucks, but if we wanted to go down there, I could explore that way. Uh, this was a minor volcano. I'm just gonna remind myself just in case. Yep, minor volcano. And then this was a polluted ox vent. Yep, infectious polluted oxygen vent. Uh, this is some sort of point of interest. You know, uh, there's really no reason for me not to go in here. It's just chlorine gas. Yeah, let's 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 poke at it. Let's see what's in here. I don't think it's gonna be all that interesting. But uh, it'll be the first time we go into a. Uh, you know, point of interest. Improve ventilation just got done. Cool. So we've got Atmos sensors. And gas shut off, insulated gas pipes, and high pressure vents. Which I cannot make because I don't have plastics. You guys just really want me to have acorns, huh? Okay. I am the king of acorn. Cool. So, the egg's been lullabied. Um... Which means it grows faster. The fastest way to obviously grow is to leave the uh, incubator on all the time. But uh, that's very power intensive and heat intensive. Okay, so you guys want me to add power? Uh, I'm going to pull about what kind. What sort of power to add? So the options. Uh, first I should talk about the options. So there's a lot of power options that I'm not necessarily going to include in the poll. Like steam or solar. Because they're far above my ability to generate for now, but that would be solar panels and steam turbines. Uh, so the options are going to be hydrogen or coal, which is maybe the simplest. I can also do natural gas or hydrogen or um, hamster. Because, you know, that's still technically an option. I'm only going to give you two minutes to vote in this poll, but um, 
talking about what would be involved. So hydrogen, if we, um, if we take a quick look at the hydrogen generator, the hydrogen generator uh, takes in hydrogen, it uh, produces heat, it produces power, it's an industrial machinery, the natural gas generator uh, takes in natural gas, outputs polluted water, carbon dioxide, power, heat, and then uh, I didn't do petroleum because I don't have a source of oil known yet. I would have to explore for that first. Uh, coal generator takes in uh, coal, outputs carbon dioxide, power, heat. So really, it's just uh, all power generation. Hydrogen and coal has a byproduct of just heat, whereas the natural gas has a byproduct. Of, oh, well, uh, no, no. Coal has a byproduct of also um, uh, carbon dioxide. But, uh, but yeah, you can pick between those. If we did do one of those, why are you going down there? If we did do one of those, um, I could always hook up a carbon skimmer to the coal or whatever. But but ultimately, I'm going to have you guys decide. Glitch, you're leveling up. Mm, not going to do anything with that yet. And let's submit a bioscan here. This will be our first exploration. Uh, so the heat output. So yeah, let me let me show you that again. So hydrogen generators output uh, four kdTU's per eight hundred watts. Natural gas is uh, ten kdTU's for eight hundred watts. So they're the same power output, but at forty percent. And then um, the coal generation is nine for six hundred. Now, the, there are some disadvantages. It looks like you guys want me to do hydrogen, which is totally cool. There are some disadvantages of hydrogen, however. If I do end up finding an AETN, which is a thermal nullifier, uh, I will likely want to use the hydrogen for that if I want to chill the base rather than for power generation. But we can cross that bridge if I ever get there. So, a vending machine. Nice. And we got an achievement. So, this was the first... Database found. All right, let me update the priority here. Generate hydrogen power. So I think the way I'm going to do this is to set up the hydrogen generator like not very close to everything else um, because of the worry about uh, about heat generation. Right, because it, it, I will, at the end of the day, generate heat. So, I'm just going to stick it, like, here. And, and probably put a... Um, oh, you know, I don't even have insulation tiles, do I? I might want to get that first. Set it up. Temperature modulation for insulated tiles. So how about, uh, let's plan for it to be here. Put it behind this wall and have our generator. Well, it's pretty close to slime, but I think that's probably acceptable. Gold amalgam. So I'm just going to dig this out and get it ready. Do I have gas tanks? Uh, not presently. So that's another research to be done. So temperature modulation and then next HVAC for gas reservoirs so I can actually store the hydrogen. But that will uh, keep our dupes off the hamster wheel. I guess.
Give dogs a treat. Oh, I have a tusk here, too. Here, girl. Here, boy. Over here, I'm just, like, messing around. I'm just adding weight plates to the research. Uh... You know, I realize is that I don't have an ore gate. That's, like, not... Well, whatever. Oh, uh, let's store reed fibers. It just uh, occurred to me that I'm not doing that. Industrial ingredients, balm, lily flowers, and reed fibers can go in. And... Yep, that's it. So we can actually store that stuff. Why is Chimic stressed? Pop to your drums for being in an overpressurized environment. Okay. I wonder what environment Chimic was in. Oh, uh, maybe in the hydrogen, uh, sweeping up this stuff, because this is a 5K. So, yeah, that would definitely pop your drums. Are these still... Oh, tame. Nice. Nice. They're both tame. One's glum, but they're both tame. So, yeah. Scale growths. Hopefully going up. Yep. Good, good, good. Our Operation Power Station is underway. So I'm going to aim to have a potential for two different hydrogen generators rather than just the one. Uh, so that we it can it's built to scale if need be. And then we're going to want a power control station in there, uh, but that means I need more refined metals. So we'll punch them. But for now, I'm just going to do the one generator. It's cheaper. And I'm going to set it up as like an actual power room. Because uh, the intention is to phase out the manual generator entirely. Oh, why is this? Oh, yeah, because the weight plate's not there. It's outside of the power plant. Cool. So that was temperature modulation research. I'm not entirely sure why uh, I set it up with normal tiles because I'm just about to replace that. So this is so that the heat generated in here doesn't spill over so quickly into the rest of the base. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it will be a little, you know, it'll help a little bit. Good idea to leave for uh, room for power transformers. Yeah, true. I would want, um, uh, likely, like a heavy watt plate somewhere in here. Because if I'm adding power, I'm going to want to, you know, possibly redo the power grid. The um, likely how I will treat this, maybe I'll have power sort of as a spine in the back here and run power that way. That's probably what I'll end up doing. 
So I'll put a joint. I'll put a plate there. Does mean then we're gonna have to move some water around. Also, I have not been paying attention to my water for a long time, so let's get the puddle filtered. Ice is almost melted. Anything new discovered? No. Oh, well, this is one of the salt biome, I think, in this corner. I don't know why they keep insisting on going down there. Just to, like, haul things away. Yeah, it sucks in there. Oh, I guess they're using the igneous rock as a construction resource. That makes a little bit more sense. So if I did run my pa the spine of my base power here, uh, I'll start excavating back there uh, so that I can have transformers and the like. Sand, coal, a doctor supply farm. Um, give me coal. I don't know if I'll ever need it, but whatever. HVAC is done. So that's what I was really waiting, waiting on. So HVAC is going to allow me to store the hydrogen so that I have... So I can uh, generate hydrogen power not just when the hydrogen vent is active, but, you know, keeping uh, tanks of it so that there's ample hydrogen as a supply uh, for when I need it. So I'll probably put the tanks... Maybe I'll just put the tanks here. Um, like that. They fit, so I build it like that. Isn't coal used to create a steel? Yeah, but I already have tons of it, because I've never used coal power, so that's why I wasn't, like, not all that concerned, because... I would need to make an insane amount of steel for me to ever need to uh, to ration it or anything like that. I'm also going to add to the priority to supply power better because uh, the current setup is just a, a 2k or a 1k watt line and that's just not going to cut it long term. Also, this is a terrible spot for the door in hindsight because of where my compost is, but oh well, I'll fix it eventually. Will heat from hydrogen and storage leak? I mean, yeah, it will eventually. Um, you know, everything produces heat, and we'll cross that. We'll have to deal with heat deletion at some point. 
either through a network of wheeze warts stored in hydrogen or uh, AETN or something like that. Oh, hey, look, we have the baby. Nice, so we're up to uh, three Drekos. So that means this incubator is just all red. Just keep it off. All right. In fact, I'll just disable it. So I'm setting the base up for heavy watt wire, which will carry a lot more power. We'll carry 20 kilowatts instead of the one watt or one kilowatt to be able to scale up a lot better. And then gas reservoirs to be able to store the hydrogen, which honestly, uh, I should probably be filling up now. So let me think about how I want that path to look. I think, well, hold on, let me not do that yet. So all the hydrogen that I currently have in this, uh, in these gas pipes, let me just like dump into one of these tanks. And then I'll um, set up the tanks to actually collect hydrogen from the geyser. Because they're not yet. Maybe for water, you could do something like the first water tank since it's full, since I don't have a germ sensor. Yeah, I mean, I could hook automation up to, from this to like the water pump, pump or something like that, but I'll just run it manually because it's kind of like a, you know, it, this isn't a permanent edifice of the base. Let me just manage it for once. So if we take a look, all the hydrogen has been dumped that was in these ventilation ducts in here. I'm going to leave some of the, um, the duct work in place and then go ahead and start capturing the hydrogen from the geyser. and putting it into these reservoir tanks, these gas reservoir tanks. I just wanted to leave the ductwork in, in place for when I uh, move around oxygen or whatever. I'm also going to need uh, batteries, uh, probably smart batteries to build around this. So let's go ahead and uh, do that as well. So smart batteries allow you to measure how much power you have stored in them, whereas um, the jumbo batteries are, are dumb. They, they don't have that kind of feedback. So I'm going to want smart batteries so that when the power is low, the smart batteries will turn on the hydrogen generator. And when the power is not low, um, they don't. That was intelligible. Good job, me. Using the best words. So I'll put smart batteries like around the heavy watt. Somewhere around here. What's my feeling on infant storage? I Do I like it or dislike it? I don't use it. Don't particularly like it. Don't use it. Just not my play style. But if it's yours, cool.
What series was yesterday's stream? Uh, the first one to go. Why are you tuning that up? That's awkward, because I, I didn't... I'm not using that yet. So then I'm going to want an automation wire from the smart battery to the hydrogen generator. Am I out of igneous? No. Not even close. Yo! I didn't say... Oh, come on now. So our hydrogen generator, that's what it looks like when it's working. It doesn't even have power consumers. Can you turn that off? Thank you. Research projects. Um, hmm. Back to hazard. Pick something new. Advanced automation. Why not? Is hydrogen connected to the tanks? Uh, yes. Just the pumps off. Or, yeah. So let me turn that pump on. And get it uh, flowing. What I can also do is hook up an atmo sensor here, so that um, if it's if there's not a lot of gas in this area, the the gas pump doesn't bother. So what I could do is something like this: set a high and low threshold, so that the smart battery um, tells the hydrogen generator when to turn on and off. Did I finish the analyzing? No, I, I barely even started. It's too hot in there. I ain't stepping in there. It hurts. So then the smart battery tops up and turns off the hydrogen generator. Um, what is the power loss of... Uh... Okay, so the power leak of a uh, smart battery is less than the jumbo battery, so it's better to build smart batteries because they'll leak less power for the kilojoule. They leak uh, a little less than half the amount of power per joule. Okay, so I'll build smart batteries. In other words, for storage. So let's get some more copper crushed. Oh, salt water. Um... Sure. The thing is, I am not going to want to dump the salt water in this here because I don't have a way to desalinate it. So we're just going to keep it as a uh, as a liquid here, not to be put anywhere for now. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 22nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timer stuff coming stream. 
If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you who support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.